of jokes. My name is Todd. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm Caleb. Hey, I'm Kyle. And I'm going to tell a story of Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Marley was dead. There's this horrible guy named Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge is a bad dude. Dude was a jerk. Ebenezer Scrooge, he's very famous for saying bah humbug, and especially in reference to Christmas. Bob Cratchit is his clerk. Kermit the Frog plays Bob Cratchit. Doing good so far. Cratchit. Uh, wants to like put more coal on the fire. Bob Cratcher is treated like crap. And he had a person that worked with him, uh, Bob Cratchit. And Bob Cratchit, oh, oh. So he, he wants to, to, to heat the place up, um, but Scrooge won't let him. He gives, uh, he gives his clerk time like Christmas off, even though he didn't want to. Oh. Oh, oh, I know what that one was for. Then he goes home, and when he goes home, he goes up to the door, and the knob like magically changes into the face of his old business partner. Um, that dude. I can't believe I haven't been slapped yet. He goes through his door, he's gonna unlock the door, and the, the knocker on the door, the big choo -choo clanger thing, turns into the face of uh, Bob Marley. Yeah, I can say it. Turns into the face of Bob Marley. He goes up to his room, and when he gets there, he's been hearing these strange sounds. And he freaks out, and because it's like a ghost face, and Bob Marley's dead. And he gets in his room, and the Marley brothers come in um, as ghosts. <laughs> I knew it! He hears something, he doesn't know what it is, and he thinks he's just like, ching, ching, ching. He's like, what is that? And he turns around, and it's his old business partner. And then right then, like all like these big boxes get thrown, like ghost boxes get thrown through the door, connected to chains and like clanging down. And then Bob Marley comes through the door. Marley slash Goofy tells him that uh, you know th these are the chains that I forged in life by being a jerk and, and only caring about money. And uh, it's gonna happen to you too, Scrooge. <laughs> if you don't change, the so Scrooge is all freaked out and he's like. Um, oh. So they warn him that he needs to change his life and that three more, um, spiritual entities. <laughs> so he's all freaked out. Oh, oh. So Scrooge, like, you know, Marley's gone and Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> then Scro Scrooge attempts to go to bed and he's like, crap. And then the clock strikes one. Ding. And it wakes him up, and uh, he sees the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's this little freaky kind of girl, yeah, who is what the word is. So he comes, and he, and he takes him on this journey, and he like grabs his hand, and he's just wearing his nightgown. They go to like in uh, into this period of his life that was previous. <laughs> um. And he's like flying all over the place. He goes over to his old schoolhouse and he sees the little, dang it, version of himself. So anyway, the freaky little girl. That either freaky or girl. <laughs> so they take him to his old work where it's like Fezziwig or Fozziwig in the Muppets version. Dang it, that would really hurt. But at the party, he meets this girl. It's not freaky. <laughs> and she's like, he falls in love with her. Oh, that was like a judo neck chop. <laughs> he meets this Sheila, and <laughs> um, 
he and this Sheila kind of hook up and have a little thing. He falls in love with her. Oh! <laughs> so he likes her a lot. Scrooge and his girlfriend, and they're sitting down, they're talking. And Scrooge is like, you know, we can't afford a house because, you know, business has been bad and we don't have a lot of money. He's like, whatever, bah humbug. Um, Rick. She's like, we're never gonna get married. You don't love me anymore, and blah blah blah. She sings this beautiful song, the love is gone, and all that kind of stuff. And then you realize Michael Caine can't sing. He's sad, and he's like, oh man. And then he like appears back in his bed. He um, <laughs> comes upon the second vision of the night. With... <sighs> and then the ghost of Christmas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, present. Oh, I knew it! Ghost of holiday season of right now. And he walks in, there's like this huge fat man. Because it's all this food, and it's like, yay, food, and, and I'm fat. And he's like wearing robes, and he, he's all happy and jolly. He's like, hey, come in, know me better, man. And he's like, what, you from Jamaica? No, I'm just kidding. So he takes them off, um, and they go visit, like, you know, Christmas present, what's going on now. And so he takes him down to the streets and, oh, frick, in the city. And he's like, I seriously can't hear out of my left ear right now. <laughs> it's like, Dee. He sees Fred playing a game at the party and which F. All right. Like, he's like, Ebenezer Scrooge never laughs. Like, ah, oh, that guy's a loser. He takes him to Bob Cratchit's house. Oh, I knew it. And, and everybody's really happy, but the Scrooge is like, what the heck? Why are they happy? <laughs> <laughs> and Ty and Tim is stoked to have a uh, Razzleberry uh, dressing or whatever. It's like, Razzleberry dressing. And then uh, how Tiny Tim is in this difficult situation. F. And he's coughing and he's got a little little, little crutch that he, that he goes on. Ah, oh, it like hurt my teeth. And how Tiny Tim, crap, is in this situation where he's in poor health. They toast to him, even though they don't want to, and the wife's like, I'll only toast to his health, because he's a jerk. So he sees this next vision, which is about his future, and as he goes... <clears throat> he takes him to, you know, the, the Cratchit's house, and they allude to the fact that Tiny Tim is no longer with them. Okay. Ah! <clears throat> yeah, so he's like, this must be changed spirit, and... Oh, that was weak, come on. They go to the graveyard, and they go up in his grave, he's like all covered with snow, and he starts like digging through it. And he starts to figure out, he's like figuring out, okay, dude, it's me. He says, this must be, this must be changed. Oh! oh shit. He realizes that what, uh, Bob, uh, I want to say Bob Marley, but what Marley had said was true. That he formed chains in his life, and then now like, he's dying and no one likes him. So, so Scrooge feels, feels, feels bad about that. Oh. Mama. Alright. What did I say? What did I say? Hey, what day is it? What time it is? What is it? And he tells him, yeah, it's Christmas morning, blah, blah, blah. And he says, here, here's some money. Go buy the biggest goose. And then Scrooge goes down and uh, he has a, the goose go to the Cratchit's house. Scrooge is like, you're late. Um, and he comes in and uh, Scrooge is acting all gruff. Oh, dang. I was like, what? Did you lick your hand? I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. It, it uh, was just an accident. And he's like, well, for that, I'll give you a raise. <laughs> and, and he was good to everyone. He was like a second father to Tiny Tim. Then Tiny Tim <laughs> says to end the story as they're all sitting down for Christmas dinner, God bless us, everyone. The end. Ends a word? <laughs> <laughs>